would like to call the Riverside Township Board of Trustees meeting for no, um, <coughs> December 9th, 2014 to order. Um, John, would you please lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll we'll call the board. Trustee Clark? Here. Trustee Ertler? Here. Trustee Giesman? Here. Trustee Kabitsky? Here. Supervisor Tusher? Here. Let the record note that Clerk Blau is in attendance also. Okay. Do I hear a motion for approval of November 18th, 2014 board meeting? So moved. Do I hear a second? I second. Any questions, concerns? Um, on page three, I would just ask in paragraph F. Please speak up here. On page three, paragraph F, as in Frank, if uh, you could just correct the spelling on my, there was a transposition uh, of the Z and the C toward the end of the first line. Okay, your name. Is my name. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Just a transposition. Yeah. Any other questions or concerns? Hearing none, roll call. Um, John, do you want to? Uh, uh, well, as amended. As amended. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll okay. Second. Make the point? motion as amended. Yes. Okay. Yes. Any other questions or concerns? Hearing none, roll call. Uh, Trustee Giesman? Yes. Trustee Kavitsky? Yes. Trustee Clark? Yes. Trustee Ertler? Yes. Supervisor Tusher? Yes. Motion carried. Communications? There are several. <clears throat> um, there was a communication from Aging Care Connections to uh, Supervisor Tusher, thanking him for the support um, with the recent grant application that they submitted to us. And um, also a thank you note for, uh, from Aging Care Connections, thanking them for the generous grant that we gave them of $3,000. And they would continue supporting the uh, community with their services. <coughs> Excuse me. There's also another thank you note from Beds Plus, thanking us for the recent donation of $880 thanking uh, in support of the uh, program that they help support people in the community and um, get them on back in um, the right road of life. And that's, that concludes the uh, uh, communications. Okay, visitors remarks. Fred, got anything? Okay. A supervisor's report, I don't have any. Trustees reports? Um. I would just like to say that the seniors held their Christmas luncheon on December 3rd, and I had 19 people in attendance, and it went very well. And then I also would like to um, make a note that we need to tune the piano upstairs in the auditorium in time for the Lions dinner, which is usually Lions chicken dinner, which is usually in April. Do they use that? They do. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, Mrs. McDonald. Yeah. Okay, you know. We may have a problem getting the uh, grand piano. It's not the grand piano, it's the upright. The upright. Yeah, the upright. Is it out of tune? It's been tuned for mm -hmm. several years. Remember, Rich, you can tune a piano. Now, okay, Rich. you know, it's going to cost. Do I have the board's permission? We want to put it on the agenda for next month. Okay. We do that. See how much it would roughly cost. Just keep in mind, Rich, that you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and the other trustees report. Is that your Christmas saying this year? You can use it if you want. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make, maybe make a suggestion. <clears throat> I know that we have defibrillators in the stairwell out the front, one on the lower level, and then one up on the second floor. But I think it might be a good idea to have one in the auditorium. The only concerns I have with that, those 
you open those doors, alarms go off in the fire department. Yeah. Okay, so it all it would all have to be rewired. And we have signs, defibrillator. Okay. What do you mean? It what's the, what's the difference fire? between the location? I mean, it'd have to be rewired to the fire department and police department, you know, as a, you know, defibrillator door being open over here, which, which one it is. Well, it's not going to be as simple and easy and quick as you might think. Uh, well, I'm assuming that people in the building, and there should be people in the building, both in the township and certainly the village and us here, if you're in the building, that you should be able to have access and know how to use it without calling. You do. Everybody does have fire. access. It's just out in the hallway. And there are signs, defibrillators. I, I guess I'm not getting why it's connected, what the wiring is, has to do with it. You open that door, and an alarm goes off, and an alarm goes off into the fire department to notify them that that defibrillator door is open and that there's an emergency over here. So because we've had to have that readjusted many times because of if, the, if it's loose or something, it opens up just a little bit or it moves, mm -hmm. the alarm goes off and we get firemen over here. So is your concern that somebody in the building, like a kid or something, might be playing around and pull on it? And you don't want that? No, my concern is it's not as easy as you would think, like hanging up a fire extinguisher, man, which I'm thinking you're thinking. You see what I'm saying? Because we're going to have to cut into the walls. We're going to have to uh, electrically connect it to the fire department and the alarm system. Well, I think if somebody knows how to use it, you don't have to alarm it to the police or fire. I guess that's... Well, you, by law, you have to. Oh, really? Yeah, no. especially in a government building. No. They've got to know, so, you know, so the fire department, EMTs can come over, or paramedics. Mm -hmm. Plus what a defib defibrillator is, um, self-explaining, you know, once you open mm -hmm. it, they tell you exactly. what exactly yes. what to do. Right. right. I mean, you know, we can get signs made, you know, plastic signs or some defibrillators in the hallways, if that helps. Mm -hmm. That makes you feel better, but I mean, you know, if if you take a look at them, I mean, they're they're sunk right into the walls between the two by fours and stuff like that, and finished out. Hmm. Okay. So there's nothing on the third floor at all. So, well, I I guess I was assuming that it could just be it didn't have to be connected to anything. It does it's have just to be. Sitting yeah. there, and for anyone who knew how to use it, if the situation arose. Yeah, I understand that. You, you uh, don't you know. even know, you have to know how. Well, it's good to go through it just so that you're not. I'm, not I'm not arguing with you about that. I'm just arguing yeah. about the, you know, the cost of rewiring and having it put in. I mean, you know, because what was there before were just the uh, fire extinguishers. Mm -hmm. And they were able to wire it that way. I, I was not aware that you had to, in a government building, that you had to connect to police and fire. Well, it just might be a village, you know, regulation. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, but, you know, if, if you do okay. that, it might not be a bad idea to put some signage on it, saying that yeah. you, know, you open okay. this door and it's... Well, it's where they're at. at. Right. It's just going to notify the fire department. There are... Aren't there signs already on it that say that? What? Aren't there already signs on there that say this? Yeah, I mean, we can put them more mm -hmm. signs, you know, in the auditorium or well, yeah, in the hallways right. or, you know, That's if that'd help. Okay. Any other? Okay. Mental health reports? Ian, you got anything about that? Okay. No, we're still waiting to hear. I don't, is there any news from um, Leslie Belmonic? Nothing? Nothing. You haven't heard back at all? Okay. Okay. Um, under new business. 
the auditorium. And I've got pictures in your packet, five, one, um, five different views. The, the wall is damaged. Year, some years back, we had that tuck pointing because we actually really thought it, the tuck pointing was seeping through. Well, you needed tuck pointing, but that wasn't the cause because we're still getting it. I'm showing you um, the east wall where there are some problems, okay? And the um, the heat controller on the east wall is damaged too at the end of there, you know, before that that door there. Um, now the east wall radiators, okay, aren't heating, and the north wall controller isn't working and the north wall radiators three quarters of them are not working there is one quarter that is working which is heating fairly good because it's it's been keeping very warm in there okay i got two estimates um one from riverside plumbing and these aren't estimates to fix it now I that. Yeah, are. because both companies, they've got to really investigate to see what's wrong. Mm -hmm. Riverside Plumbing, yeah, you know, they're saying the same as Star, um, which is Damon Mechanical, Star uh, Piping and Heating. Yeah, they may have to tear out part of that wall, but what Riverside Plumbing is saying, they will, there's a crawl space underneath there, underneath that floor you can get through from here, like by the police station, there's um, a cubby hole you can get up to you the second floor. The no, over here, oh. you can get up into the auditorium crawl space. Mm. They need two guys, and they explain it to me, that's why it's $2,200, two guys. And you're take, talking licensed electricians, prevailing wage. One guy to crawl through there, the other guy's going to be his helper, you know, to see what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're determining, well, you know, if they don't see a leak there, it may be in the wall. Um, and then they would have to tear out part of that wall or the floor. You know, Star piping is just saying they're going to crawl in, or they're just going to tear out the three by six foot wall section, um, and attempt to to use the crawl space to to trace out the steam condensation pipes. But whatever. you're saying star piping. I I have a DMI here. That's He's star. one of the. That, that is star, and are they're on Arlington Heights now? Yeah, they were purchased, I think. Yeah. I thought they moved. Well, to, you know, to the one I called it, it, it's still in Lyons. The Lyons are on Plainfield now. Or both. Something. Oh, they're, still, they're both. Yeah, as far as I could tell. Because, you know, the one I call is in either Lyons or the one in Countryside. Countryside, right. Yeah. But Star always came up with this DMI Mechanical Industries. <coughs> so I'm sure they were, you know, they were bought out by DMI. Oh. Okay. And they're, you know, what, $700 cheaper, but they're going to tear out a wall. Def for first thing, they're just going to tear out that three by six foot wall or more. They're not going to repair it. And, and if Riverside Plumbing has to, they're not going to repair it either. Are no. they going to be, uh, make sure that they don't tear out this woodwork or damage this woodwork? Because you yeah. can't replace that. Yeah, I know they will. Be careful. Yeah, it looks like that's damaged too, though, from the pictures. Pardon me, John. The woodwork looks like it's damaged too from the pictures. Is it? Is the woodwork damaged, or is that? No, that's just paint peeling. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, Donnie says in item two, attempt to use the crawl space to trace the steam and condensate piping and look for leaks. Couldn't they just do that first, and then you know? 
Um, this, is a, this is what they're saying. They're, you know, maybe they, before they come. They don't, they, they don't think it's okay. It, it's going to be a lot harder for them to crawl through crawl space. That's why. Mm. You know, it's going to be a lot harder, you know, to do it that way rather than just cut out that wall, the um, sawzall, mm -hmm. and um, let us worry about it. Or, you know, or possibly, you know, and then if, well, it's going to be the same thing with Riverside Plumbing. If it's, it has to do with the floor, you know, we're going to make sure that they very carefully care, take out that floor well, it so we can cost, replace yeah. it. What way? It would not cost $700 to replace the panel, uh, the one that they're going to tear out. I, my reading of the two offers are that they both would are both wanting to do the same thing, except Star Plumbing is going to knock out a wall to to get to it. That's the first thing, right? Yeah. And Riverside Plumbing is going to go through the crawl space first, so they may not have to knock out a wall. So that's a board, you know. It, well, it's, yeah, but, it's a flip of a coin, Wayne. Right, I mean, right. you know, you're gambling either way. Okay. And all you're getting is an a statement that says this is what we think your problem might be. Correct. And then they'll give us a new estimate on, on how to fix it. it. Right. Well, they will find the the problem. Hopefully. That's what. Yeah. Hopefully. They better. Well, yeah. That's yeah. what we're paying for. <gasps> yeah. Okay. So, board decision. I've been through the situations where they couldn't find the problem. Riverside or uh, Star. I, I make them. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, let's go with Riverside. Okay, well, I'll make a motion. I make a motion to go with Riverside. Do I hear a second? I'll second that. <laughs> Roll call. <laughs> Trustee Giesman. Yes. Trustee Kavitsky. Yes. Trustee Ertler. Yes. Trustee Clark. Yes. Supervisor Tusher? Yes. Motion carried. All right. That's how the money goes. Okay. Um, Riverside Chamber of Commerce, you'll see 215 uh, membership dues and a holiday party for the members. Have we previously been members of the chamber? I can't hear you. Have we previously been members of the chamber? I have. You have? Okay. One, yeah. To represent the township. Okay. Do we have a motion to um, join the chamber again? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Any questions, concerns? Hearing on roll call. How much are the dues? Seventy. Seventy dollars for an associate member, which is what I think we would be, or a hundred and ten for um, membership if you have a business in yeah. town. Should, well, so I believe there's seventy. Wouldn't you? Yeah, you yeah seven but it's here. Kind of thing on the bottom. Yeah. So we your motion to go up to hundred and ten if necessary, if they want to consider us, you know, a business, but you know. Are you voting on the previous motion first or? Yeah, I, I, I would, we're not a business. I wouldn't be going with that acting. Yes, we should vote on the first motion. I can't hear you, Jack. I said we should vote on the first motion, correct? Right. Okay. Supervisor Tush. Uh, no, no. What is the first motion? Repeat it. <laughs> Who made the motion? You, you made did, Jack. I, I did. <laughs> I made the motion. Two. we. Uh, take out the 2015 membership dues, uh, I guess, in the amount of $70 for the uh, Riverside Chamber of Commerce. First day of my new brain. Let's figure this out. Amend it to <coughs> up to 110. Are we going to do it? Just if, if possible. Yeah, if, if they require it. If yeah. required, 110 to be an active member. Do I hear a second? Second. I, oh. He seconded it. I see. 
Any other questions or concerns? Hearing none, roll call. Trustee Kavitsky. Yes. Trustee Ertler. Yes. Trustee Gazeman. Yes. Trustee Clark. Yes. Supervisor Tusher. Yes. Motion carried. Okay, um, a budget for uh, February 2015's um, presentation um, and of Eastland disaster, a speaker. And what are you thinking, $1,000? $1,000. Are people familiar with the Eastland disaster? It's a ship that uh, overturned in the Chicago River taking Yes. Western employee, Electric. Western Electric employees and 882 people died. Yep. This year is the 100th anniversary of that because it happened in July of 2000, or uh, July of 1915. So there's a man that does a presentation on it and he'll, he presents with a PowerPoint for about 45 minutes and then answers questions and he stays around as long as people will ask questions. Um, and the cost of having the speaker come is $445. And then I have $300 for advertising and $100 for cookies and refreshments. Wait, what's his cost? $445. $445. That's just for the speaker? That's just for the speaker, yeah. And our, what, Go on. Uh, and I was hoping to do it on Saturday, February 28th at two in the afternoon. I have to check with them, though, to see if that date's available. And they said they are doing a lot of speaking engagements this year because it is the 100th anniversary. But we haven't had good turnouts on Saturday. Would you rather do it on a Sunday? I mean. Well, all I'm gonna tell you is the programs I've put on have not been that successful. <laughs> They've been on Saturday. <coughs> Some have been on Sunday. Oh. I thought. Oh, well, wait, I missed no, that Saturday. one. That was on so they've Saturday. been on, yours have uh, been on Saturday, Seventh Day Rich, because we did the. Um, Wasn't the whole Holocaust on Sunday? That was Holocaust Sunday. was on Sunday, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the uh, electric and heating saving was on a Saturday. Mm. And then the last one I had was identity theft. Identity theft. That was yeah, on Saturday. And that was on a Saturday. Saturday. Right. Yeah. And that was not well attended. Well. Well, so Anne, are you saying uh, you think a Sunday would be better? Well, based on past experience, yeah. I mean, will it be this time? <laughs> it's a gamble, I suppose. But I just think. I think on Saturdays people are out doing their errands and. You well, know. we can we can look for a Sunday. I don't forget when we did the Holocaust thing, we put a notice in the paper about that too, didn't we? Didn't there yeah, we've done that yeah. for all of them. Yeah, we've done them for all of them. Uh -huh. yeah. And for the uh, identity theft too. Yeah, they were all Twice. in the paper, Judd. I know. I know they were in the the uh, newsletter. I saw. It, you no, know. but they were in no, the. They were in the landmark. In the landmark. landmark yeah. yeah. And, uh, I missed that. I read the landmark, but I identity missed. theft, I believe, was also in the uh, suburban, suburban life. life. Yeah. I believe. I can't remember. Well, maybe Anne's right. Maybe we should try a Sunday then. Okay. Because I don't know how many people know what the Eastland is. Did you ever see a picture of it? Yeah. 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 I mean, it just. just yeah. Everybody's on one side of the ship, and the whole thing just tipped over the Chicago River. <laughs> How many people were killed? 800, 882. 882 people died in that time. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it was horrendous all in, mm -hmm. in this area. Uh, Do you want us to approve a budget of 1,000 and you'll give us a date at uh, January's meeting? Yeah. How's that sound? That's, that's good. Okay. Um, do I hear a motion to approve a, for the Eastland um, disaster? Of a thousand dollars, so moved. Do I hear a second? second. I second. And second. Fight it out. Either way. Yeah. Any questions, concerns? I, I just when you advertise this or whatever, make sure people know what the Eastland is. 
Because I, I forgot the name of it, but I'm, I'm very well aware of that. Mary Robert, of the, of you're that disaster. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Robert with the... Yeah. Exactly, you know, a description or, or something, because yeah. it's... It was quite an event. People could right. think they were shoes too, right? Pardon? <laughs> East of boat shoes, whatever, <laughs> neck shoes. I, well, yeah, I work with the um, That's like tuna gal fish, at the um, landmark that helped me before. Okay. Okay, any other questions, concerns? Hearing none, roll call. Trustee Giesman? Yes. Trustee Ertler? Yes. Trustee Clark? Yes. Trustee Kavitsky? Yes. Supervisor Tusher? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, and under FYI, levy and truth and taxation have, have been filed with Cook County Clerk, because we have till the end of December to do that, and it's been done. And something I'm looking forward to is number B under F, FYI. I will be on vacation, taking, I'm going to the Philippines again. <laughs> And that's a 24 to 36 hour flight, depending on layovers in Incheon or Tokyo. And if I get lost in Tokyo, I may never come back because that airport's when, unbelievable. When, when are you going? When? May. I will be going, okay. I will be leaving on Friday, um, April 17th. Okay. I have GA day that day, but I will sign. I only got three or four people on there. I will, and possibly less by then. So, you know, um, by leaving a check and them dropping off their um, job search sheets, uh, it will be no problem. And I will be returning, I will be landing on the 13th. So, I may take a day to recover. Because uh, I don't usually get jet lag going there because it's a 14, 15 hour flight difference. They're ahead of us. On the way back, I always have gotten a jet lag. I land the same day about four hours after I leave. <laughs> yeah, because of that. Very strange. Okay, uh, any further uh, visitors remarks? Hearing none. Approval of warrants. I have a motion that the board approve and ratify payment of the bills identified on the general warrant December 2014, in the amount of $22,014.71, as presented to the board this ninth day of December 2014. Second motion. Any questions or concerns? I have a concern. I'm not sure where it would be. I thought I highlighted this. Um, I think it's, oh, here it is. On the unemployment tax, okay, with that, was that in here? Under? Not yet. Not okay. yet. Okay. Any questions, concerns? I have a comment. Yeah. I don't know if it's a, it is a concern. Um, I'm looking at the report from the nurse who does the blood pressure readings mm -hmm. once a month here. And I won't go back seven months, but I'll go back four. Okay, going back four months, this is the number attending at Riverside. In September, five. In October, six. In November, none. And in December, one. In North Riverside, their attendance is better, but theirs was in September, 15. In October, 14. In November, four. And in December, five. And I just wonder if we might be able to advertise this better if it would make a difference or you know well, even in the landmark I know there's like, toward the back there are yeah you, you, you want you want to take out a an ad every uh, every month free blood pressures are you reading from it what's that where are you reading from 
Um, this is the a copy of the report where she signs off on the numbers. Is it? In it's our, not in your No, 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 we don't have it. It's with the check side? request. <coughs> Well, the check, it doesn't matter. She gets the same I amount know. whether there's nobody that, there just or there saying that's where you get it. There. Yeah. So I, I don't know if, if that's the problem, is people just don't know about it, or if maybe even if we just put it in that little blurb on, you know, local. We have levels. that free blood pressures in that blurb. It does go in there? Yeah, as far as I can remember, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, newsletter, if you want to take out. Just put it in the uh, newsletter eight, every eight, time. Eight, eight, what kind? You put it in the newsletter every time. We do. Huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe I that's mean, something we need to reevaluate as a service we offer. Well, I wondered that too. And maybe, I mean, when you have your meetings, obviously just encourage people. I, I know that you can get one of those little cuffs. I have one. But I like to have somebody else check mine too. Oh, yeah. Want to make sure no, that well, I'm yeah. in the ballpark. Plus, I mean, you know, that's, you know, yeah, I've noticed, you know, Natalie sitting there, you know, going, where's everybody? <laughs> well, and the nurse is sitting yeah, there looking going, at the magazine because she's but, bored. Um, the seniors have their meeting at 1 o'clock that day, right after. That's why it was picked. Yeah. And, you know, so they know blood pressures are taken before their senior club meeting. How is that senior club meeting going? How many people are attending that? Well, you know, it depends. I about twenty. I can only have between twenty and thirty. Well, then they know. But you yeah. know, in November, what you said, November, we had one. Yeah. See, that's when we had our veterans party. Our veterans. Yeah. So it was Pizza December. Party. We had one. In November, we had zero. Here because they didn't, because our seniors didn't meet here that day. So and then December too, we didn't have a regular meeting. We had changed our meeting date for our Christmas lunch. But even the other days, when I guess let's, we're probably okay, here, and let's wait a while. Five or okay. six. I mean, that's not let's good. wait a while until the spring. Okay, maybe it's the weather. Maybe it's you know because of what? shopping or whatever. And then let's bring it up again, Ann, after you review it, and let's think of a, a budget we can give for advertising it. Okay. Well, what, what? But, you know, because the past two months there were different things going on with the seniors. But they were low in the other months. You have the you have the meeting at one o'clock on that day, right? You have an yeah. audience right there. Remind them. You know, there's blood pressure here, folks, before it, you come well, to the meeting. It's when and the postcards that I send they out can't, yeah. when we meet, you know, I send a postcard out to the seniors yeah. about, you know, the meeting date and what the program is and stuff. And at the bottom of every postcard says blood pressure testing available. And I send out a hundred, uh, well, that's enough advertising. 85 and, postcards. And they can't pass to the elevator to go up to the second floor without, no, maybe without, without running into the um, sign in desk. And there's a big sign. What You put that sign out on Friday? On the door. Or yeah, on the door. On Monday? I mean, yeah. I drive by here and I see that big sign too. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you ought to try putting the nurse and Natalie in the auditorium so that when people come up, they're like in their face. That's fine. I wouldn't put any more money in advertising. You know, She's doing maybe quite a bit there, of it. Maybe it, and it's right there where they're going to sit. But that, that they could. To, yeah, they have to walk by them. Yeah. That could just, <laughs> just disrupt yeah. the meeting, whatever yeah. is going on there. That's like us having a meeting and having them take blood pressure to call on Mrs. Smith. Please come on. Well, I'm thinking in the back of the room. Well, still. But don't, too, don't, um, don't they take the, once you register, don't they take you into that little room over there? The room three, right. The room three, just to do it in private. Right. Yeah, yeah. there's not going to be any privacy. Because of HEPA. Yeah. You know, this is something, you know. Well, there's no but. HEPA is HEPA. But you're not, you're not yelling out the results. and. It doesn't matter. It, you still have to be private. This might be something we need to reevaluate in the spring, whether it's worth our money to yeah. continue with. I agree. Yeah, it yeah. shows a bare arm. <laughs> uh, so okay. it might be something that's run its course, you know? Yeah. We'll give it three months. All right. OK. 
Okay. So we didn't take the vote on that? Please? No. Okay. We, have to, we have to vote on the general warrant. Well, I put down it was approved. Roll call. Where are we then? We roll, roll, call. Call. Roll, call. roll call vote. Roll call vote. Trustee Ertler. Yes. Trustee Giesman. Yes. Trustee Kabitsky. Yes. Trustee Clark. Yes. Supervisor Tesher. Yes. Motion carried for general warrants. Okay. And a motion that the board ratify and approve payment of the amounts indicated on the following warrants. Utility warrant, December 2014, in the amount of $1,723.31. Payroll warrant December 2014 in the amount of $16,136.70. Health warrant December 2014 in the amount of $2,445.57. Monthly filings December 2014 in the amount of $10,362.14. Grants December 2014 in the amount of $12,325.50. General assistance warrant December 2014 in the amount of $1,200. Township radio players warrant December 2014 in the amount of $120. And food pantry warrant December 2014 in the amount of $990.30. All of the above. Motion 33 cents. Yes, yeah, 990.33. All of the above as presented to the board this ninth day of December 2014. Second. The motion. Any questions, concerns? My concern is um, on the unemployment tax, we budgeted twelve hundred. To the fiscal year so far, we've gone to twelve hundred forty-two dollars and seventy-nine cents, which. You know, we're going to have to do budgetary transfer, Wayne, next month. Okay. Where are you going to get the money? Um, you could do it from hospitalization, life insurance. We've got 3700 Or Social Security, Medicare, we've got almost 11000 You know, I, I would think we'd, we'd want to transfer another maybe 1000 in there. How much? Maybe 1000 I don't, you know. Yeah. Play it safe. Well, as long as you're looking at that um, on the second page of the general town fund. Well, give me a give me a budget code. Oh, well, I don't know. The I use name. Reese's. I don't. Well, I'm looking at the Monty's report. Yeah. Well. Okay. What? Do you have that one, Demonte's report? Yeah. Is this on under administrative, administrative division? It's the uh, second line item there. What Hospital. page? It's the second page. I don't see where you're, what you're talking about, Ian. I'm looking at the Monty's report, not not the in-house one. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay. Okay, on the back of that page there. The administrative division, yeah. okay. The next page. Turn it over. Oh, yours isn't double-sided. Um, do you have their administrative division personnel services? Yeah, as under assessors. No. Oh dear, I don't think you have anything. Does anybody else have it? What's the number? I think we're looking at. Well, I'm looking at the line item hospitalization life insurance. As we know, the life insurance, I mean, health insurance, has gone up. And what we had uh, budgeted for it as a total for the year was $14,000. What we have left in that line item is $3,376.69. And the current month, we spent almost $1,700.
So that's not going to be enough in there for the next four months. That's my point. It's, uh, if, if we're doing a budget transfer, then I think that one needs to be included. Otherwise, we're going to run out. Oh, I agree. We're going to run out before uh, the year is over. You got okay, that one, Wayne? I'll, I'll include it. Uh, show me the... Uh, right here, hospitalization, the second one. I'm right. here. See how much we spent this yeah, month? Yeah, I do. Right. And we got four more months to go. So that's not going to cover it. So another 2500 or so. Yeah. And nice. then the 4270 right below it, basically. Right. And we're going to take it out of IMRF? Wherever you think, Wayne. Okay. I know, I know. Okay. Right. And we've gone six months and used half. Okay, in the um, IMRF. Okay. Yeah, we, we've... Um, so... Well, we don't have too much left to go then. No, no, so I don't think you can take it out of IMRF. No. You might want to take it out of FICA... Um, yeah, I think it would work there. Where? Medicare. Taxes, FICA, Medicare. Looks like yeah. there's enough in there. Well, 2000 maybe not. Yeah. No, it's going to be close. Oh, yeah. Well, no. It's going to be close because it's yeah. $1,700. Well, I could take part out of there and part out of salaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be careful on that one. Anyway, we're talking about... I would do hospital as... Oh, wait a minute. No, never mind. That's the one we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be careful about the salaries because we you know, have... Do we have some overtime? Maybe. Okay. No. Hey, we're only talking about thirty-three hundred dollars. Okay. Then on the, the page for the assessors division, which you seem to have there, Rich. If you look under travel for assessor, yeah. I, I think that wasn't recorded properly by their office because it shows three hundred dollars, and that should be one fifty. And then under other expenses, the automobile expense has a zero line item in the, that line item, and it should be 150. Those were split, 150 there and 150 down there. And if you look in the uh, that should be, uh, this should be 150. 150, and this should be 150. Yeah. And those were brought to their attention. Oh, did you tell yeah. them about it already? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what you were talking about today or yesterday. yesterday. Okay, did yeah. you tell them about it in your pay amount too? Because it's showing under just gross pay three rather than gross pay three and four. <coughs> so there should be, you have two two line items under it. That I don't know, but I knew that yeah. in the budget it was incorrect. Okay, but they should show under gross pay three and gross pay four. Okay. You know, split that too and not just put it all in one. Because... That's so you, you're already problem. taking care of that, friend? Well, we, we sent them a fax about it. I don't know. They, they didn't respond to me. I don't know if they responded to Marge today. I haven't talked to Marge about that. I'll talk to Marge about it. Okay. If not, maybe, Ann, you can call um, Betty and explain it to her. the second month they did that. They did it last month. Oh, they did? Okay, I remember seeing that last month. But I don't, is somebody else, is, is Betty back? Yeah, Betty is. Because I wondered if somebody else was doing our reports. She, yeah, somebody was. No, then they're not real familiar with the account. No, and they haven't changed it. I haven't seen any changes, and so I was surprised to see it. Yeah. Because yeah. I did we're bringing it to their attention on this one as well. I don't know how many hours Betty's working, but I, you know she's can been we, in the uh, office. Can back. we vote on these warrants? We made the motion about ten minutes ago. <laughs> right. But we haven't were, voted on them yet. They're just questions on the things yeah, that well, that's the way. So, do I hear a motion about the two? Um, there was a motion made. There's a motion on the floor. By okay. John. Okay, and what was the motion? Please repeat it. Did you have the. To motion, the motion to ratify and approve all of the, war the warrants. The other warrants as. Uh, and stated, do you want me to list no, that's all fine. the dollar amount? No, that's fine. Okay. On um, the assessor's division and on the hospitalization and the uh, 
No, that wasn't. No, part that's, of, not that's, not, that's not the motion. That's not the motion. Oh, okay. That's not the motion. Those fourteen pages. The fourteen pages that we we normally do. Okay. Uh, Trustee Clark. Yes. Trustee Gazeman. Yes. Trustee Ertler. Yes. Trustee Kavitsky. Yes. Supervisor Tusher. Yes. Motion carried. Okay. Now, do you want a separate motion for these adjustments to? Uh, you can't do that. It's not on the agenda. It's just you just need to make corrections. That's all. Yeah. Okay. It's not. Okay. Be a motion for that. I make a motion. And wait a minute. I have no remarks. <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 This is the longest short meeting.